Well, now to Davis, where police have honed in on a bear running wild around the city for days now, now thought to be hunkered down by a pond. Let's get the latest. CBS 13's Rick Boone is live in Davis with the search to catch this bear before, Rick, it gets too comfortable. I know that's that's the biggest uh, deal that a lot of the uh, Davis and wildlife experts here in the state are a little bit concerned about. We're not uh, that far from where this bear may be roaming around, so please let me know if you see a bear in the back of me right now during this live report. But yeah, the serious aspect is it is that if he starts getting too comfortable with us, he will start doing what bears normally do: tipping over trash cans, pulling up stuff, and getting quite unruly here in Davis. So we're trying to get it into a bear trap right now. The city of Davis has a bear problem, and this one is weighing about 300 pounds. Reports of uh, you know trash cans being dumped yet, or um, you know digging up of flower beds and those sorts of things that a bear might do. Um, but that may you know the longer it spends here, the more comfortable it gets. That may be a behavior it starts picking up. Wildlife experts say this young black bear left the foothills recently and found a new home in this dense location connected to homes and apartments known as the green belt. I have grandchildren. I like bears, you know, way over there with the woods and not near us. Some residents concerned not having a clue where this animal could be or what it may do if they ran into it. I want to see pictures of it leaving or being relocated. That would make me feel the happiest. The bear seems to come out at night. Some residents told CBS 13 it's been seen roaming in the middle of the street. It spends its days hunkered down on an island in the Greenbelt area eating goose eggs. <laughs> I've been looking for him. The bear showed up this week, but it's not the first time Davis has had a bear attack. A similar animal showed up by the college last year. Now that another bear has arrived, this one is building a fan base. I know, it's so exciting. Yeah, I, I, I think all of us are excited. But animal experts say they hope they can move this bear out before it has a chance to hurt itself or anyone else. Any wildlife, if you put it in, uh, if you give it a reason to become aggressive or defensive, it will react. Yeah, that guy there, John, he's on it. He's with the city of Davis. He's going to be working throughout the weekend as well as other wildlife uh, experts trying to get this bear this weekend. The goal is to uh, tranquilize the bear and then bring it to its natural habitat somewhere up in the foothills and hopefully in some type of way it can find its family. But the big goal is to get that bear out of this area as quickly as possible.